Hey folks, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to steal anyone's groove, even Stevie Wonder's. Of course, I love Stevie Wonder and wouldn't want to get a copyright strike from him, so we're not actually going to steal his groove today, but this technique can be used for any song anywhere that you have an audio recording for. Instead, we're going to use this track of mine reel right here, and I'll show you how it's done. So that's a funky track. If you are an experienced Reason user, I'm just going to walk you through all of the steps right now and you'll probably be able to figure this out on your own. For the rest of you though, uh, we'll go through all of these steps in detail down the road. But the first thing we're going to want to do is extract the tempo of the song. Then we're going to want to disable time stretch, bounce the track to a rec loop after we have matched the tempo of our recording to the tempo of the underlying audio. Then what we're going to do is take that Rex loop, send it to the track, right click it, click extract groove, then using the groove mixer and the individual channels, we will assign individual instruments to that groove track and mix in the amount of groove we want. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. Now, if that made sense to you, great. If not, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through all of that. Before we go farther though, I do want to let you know that I have got this amazing Reason mixing template. It'll help you make better mixes in Reason faster. There's a link to download it down below. Go check it out. So before we start, let's start by starting. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about, about just what Groove is. And Groove is essentially swing. It's not, it's the rhythm that a song has that isn't fully on the grid, and it's what every great musician has. Duke Ellington famously said that it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Now, I'm not sure if he was talking about music or something else, but uh, in any event, any great musician and any great orchestra like Duke's has insane swing. And if you're doing purely digital music, it can sometimes be hard to add that feel of a live musician. So I'm going to teach you a technique to basically take the groove from a song you like, steal it, and then assign it to your favorite tracks that you're working on to make them feel more rhythmic, give them more swing, make them more. So the first thing you got to do is find an audio recording of a track you like. That's pretty easy, right? That's going to be your reference track. From there, what we want to do, go to a website like wavemonopoly.com. There are, there are tons of wave set, websites that will tell you the BPM of a song. Uh, but basically, I've loaded up my song and it tells me the BPM is 103. This is important because it will kind of help figure out where the markers are set for the groove extraction. Next, we go into Reason, and you'll drop your song, just literally drag and drop it onto this timeline, the sequencer here, and right click to make sure that this thing right here that says Enable Stretch, make sure it says Disable Stretch. You want stretching to be disabled so the song plays at its normal, natural tempo, and you also want to make sure that you now type in the tempo that you just found out from the website. This way these markers will hopefully more or less align with the rhythm of the song, getting you the most precise groove. Next, you're going to click on the audio file, go up over here to slice edit, and click on it. Now you'll notice there's a ton of little slices. These are all the Rex slices that would show up. Uh, basically they're most of the transients in the song, and theoretically that's going to be a lot of the groove is. Unfortunately, there's no ability to adjust the sensitivity of this. You could manually delete these if you like, but you basically just have to work with it as it is if you've got a longer clip like this, because it would be way too much work. So once you've got the slice edit mode active, right click anywhere on the audio file, go bounce to Rex loop. Beep, 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 beep. Now it's bounced. Now what we're going to want to do is actually take this Rex loop that we've just bounced and create a Rex player from it. I know this is a lot of steps, but this works magic. So now we go to the Rex player, open it up. We're going to want to copy the pattern to the track. 
what the Rex player does is it finds these transients here, which tells it where to play each slice of audio. And so basically, essentially, that's going to tell it what the groove of the song is. So we hit copy to track, and you see this is a bunch of MIDI data here on the Rex player. But the time... But the timing is not at all on the grid. This is all over the place. And that is going to be our groove. So we exit out of this view and we can just right click on it and say, get groove from clip. Now what will happen is if we go to the groove menu, you're going to see something called, it'll be called user one if it's the first time or automatically it'll just start giving it different names. So we've got user two here, which is the new groove clip based on the track that we dropped in. So let's now mute that. I've got a simple little drum beat here, like a really simple drum beat. And let's just hit play. I have no groove applied. So let's just listen to what it sounds like without groove. One of the greatest beats ever made. Uh, but now what we can do is go over here and where it says A, we can assign it to user two, which is the groove we extracted. And now this groove mixer down here is going to apply. So on this left column, we have how much the groove is affecting it. And then we can add shuffle and we can sort of slide it left to right. Um, but let's just do it all the way on and listen to how the drum beat changes. It's probably not gonna work from the start, but you're gonna dial it back and you'll start to feel it. And let's turn loop on. And so let's also add a bit of shuffle. So you can already feel that there is a lot more groove there. Now we can restore any tempo information we want because the groove uh, is already built in. So now if we do this at like a higher tempo, let's see what happens. And with it off, and with more on. So you can feel how once you start dialing this in, you can really add a lot more bounce to your track, a lot more feel, and you can apply this groove mapping to not just the drums, right? You can apply this to the bass line, to the stabs, to everything, and get the whole song grooving if you wanted to. So this is how you can steal any groove in the world, add it to your song, it won't even be a copyright strike because you will delete the original audio and nobody but you and me will be the wiser.